Hello friends, this video on Amai's part 30 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we have to convert hexane nitrile to one amino pentane. So first let's see what is hexane nitrile. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is my hexane nitrile. Hexane nitrile actually. And one amino pentane is one, two, three, four, five. And at first position, let me add NH2. So to convert from this to this. So if you see here, it has six carbons. It has five carbon. So you can just pause this video for some time and try doing the conversion on your own. And then you can play this video and see the solution. See, since I have to remove the one carbon dioxide from here, what I can do is if I can just convert into CONH2, then I can use this Hoffman degradation reaction to remove the CO. Right? So to convert this into CONH2, I have to first convert into COH. I can easily oxidize it. And from COH, I can easily convert to CONH2 by replacing OH with Cl and then with NH2. We have seen that. Right? So let's see this. 3, 4, 5, 6, if I react with, if I oxidize it actually, it may be KMnO4 or H plus water, any strong oxidizing agent, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, this is what I'll get. Then I have to remove OH and make it Cl because I want to make it NH2, so first step is we have to make it Cl. React with so Cl2 or PCl5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Correct. Once I have the Cl, I can easily convert this to NH2, Cl2. Why? I can use NH3 in excess. If I use NH3 in excess, what will happen is this, this whole thing will replace this NH2 here. So what I get here is E4, 5, 6, NH2. And from here, removing CO is not that difficult, right? I can just use Hoffman reaction, Br2 and KOH. What will happen is the CO will go up. What it will get is 5 carbon and NH2. And that is what I was looking for. Correct? If they, you know, just think of the steps, you know that you know, from COH, it's very easy to get to CONH2 and from CONH2 it's very easy to get this compound with one CLS. So you can just think of all the steps, add these and get the product. So I have to convert methanol to ethanoic acid. I think we have seen this kind of reaction earlier. This is my methanol. I have to convert this to ethanoic acid. So if you see one carbon is extra here. All right. So what I can do is if instead of CH, OH, if you can have CN, then you add one carbon extra and then you can oxidize it. So to, from OH to CN directly you can't do, so you have to make it to CL and then you can add CN, right? So we'll see the reaction from here. Let's add PCL5 or PCL3. It will become CH3Cl. And on this, you can just add KCN, ethanolic. What will happen is the CN minus will replace this Cl minus. So this becomes CH3 Cn. So once I have CH3 Cn, I can hydrolyze it in the presence of water, I get CH3 COH. Pretty easy. One carbon extra addition. That means you know that you have to add Cn somewhere and then oxidize it or hydrolyze it. Yeah. So in this case, OH replaced with Cl, and then once it is Cl, you can easily, since the chlorine is a good living group, you can react with KCN and you get CH3CN. The next is ethene amine to methane amine. So I have ethene amine, I have to convert into methane amine. So if you see, one carbon is less, right? So one carbon is less, only one reaction I know of till now is that you have to convert this into CONH to form and then using Hoffman bromide reaction, you can remove this CO part. Correct. So my challenge here is to convert 
this into this form right if i have this form directly i can remove uh, co correct but how can i do it how can i make it double bond here is it that simple so nh2 i can't do much if i have oh here let's suppose i have ethanol here then i can make it ethanoic acid pretty easily with ethanoic acid i can oh i can make it to nh2 easily so let's convert to ethanol how to convert to ethanol that means i have to remove this nh2 group how can i do this by forming that diazonium salt so i have this let me react with nano2 nhcl i'll get a diazonium salt which will be unstable this will be unstable i'll add some water to it what will happen is i'll get this alcohol once i have the alcohol i can oxidize it with kmn4 to get this so i've got co types then i can react with pcl5 or socl2 to get to get cl and then i can react with ammonia to get nh2 right so once i have co nh2 i can do this hockman reaction co will go off what i'll get is c nh and this is what i was looking for you can add extra hydrogens here correct pretty easy one the next is we have to convert ethanoic acid to propanoic acid so i have meth ethanoic acid meth eth propanoic acid so i have to add extra carbon here again to add extra carbon we know that somehow we have to add the cn correct so directly can i add cn no it is coh form so let me i make it to alcohol and then i'll can add so let me reduce it with some reducing agent lalh4 or something so i'll get this alcohol in this alcohol to add cn first let me make it chlorine because chlorine is good living group let me react with pcl5 pcl3 or ssl2 i get this chlorine once i have this chlorine i can react with kcn or nacn what will happen is this cn will replace this chlorine i'll get this once i have this cn I have added extra carbon. I can just hydrolyze it. So what I'll get is this is what I'll get, and that is what I was looking for. Propanoic acid. Let's try this methane amine to ethane amine. So earlier we have seen ethane amine to methane amine. Now we are adding one carbon here. Correct. So again, since we have to add carbon, that is pretty sure that we have to make, add some CN here, right? To add CN, NH two I can't use directly, so I have to make it alcohol, and then chlorine, and then we can add CN. Just pause this video for five minutes and try to solve this on your own, and then you can see the solution. So I have this to make it OH. The first thing I have to do is I have to make it diazonium salt and remove this NH two part. So NaNa2 and HCl I'll react. What I'll get is correct. In this I'll react with water to get CH3OH. Once I have CH3OH, I can react with PCl5 to make it CH3Cl. Why? Because I want to replace this with CN. So with this because I have to add one carbon. So I'll react with KCN. I will get CH3 CN because CL is a good living group, right? So once I have CH3 CN, I can just use. Now I don't have to make COH. I have to make it CH2 NH2 here, right? So what I can do is I can do hydrogenation. Hydrogen with a nickel catalyst. What will happen is hydrogen will get added here and here. So I'll get CH3 CH2 NH2. See if you want to understand this clearly. Is a triple bond here. This bond will break, right? You'll get hydrogen here, here, and here, and here. 
this is what will happen correct thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos you can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website you can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website thanks a lot for watching